Hi, I'm Ryan with the Insight Group at Alliety Analytics, and I'm going to talk to you today about how you can use a lookup table in Google Tag Manager to send data to different GA UAs. In this case, we have AlliedAnalytics.com and an in-development version of our new website, InsightAnalyticsGroup.com. Both of them are using the same GTM container, and so right now, if I set up a GA base code for both of those to send page view data, they're going to be sending it to the same place. I don't want that. So I'll go ahead and set up a new GA base code. And instead of using the usual tracking ID I would normally use, I'm going to set up a new one. I'll name it GA property lookup. And I'll set up a lookup table variable. For my input variable, I'm going to use the page's host name. And I'm going to add two rows. One row for the host name for this page. I'll go back to my Google Tag Manager preview mode to see exactly what variable is coming through for page host name on this. In this case, I'm glad I checked, it's lightanalytics.com and not www.lightanalytics.com. So I'll put that in my first slot in the input. I'll use the same UA I've been using to make sure it's going to the same place it should be. And then I'll go back to over to Insight Group and double check on what variable I'm getting for page host name there as well. It's important to remember when you're setting up lookup tables that you have to use the exact value for each portion of the lookup. And in this case, I'll go ahead and send it to dash two because that's where I want it to go. For our trigger, we'll just use the same thing we normally would, all pages. I'll hit save. Let's go ahead and refresh our preview mode to make sure that what we've done works. If I go to our normal website and hit refresh, I should see in my new GA base code that I've set up that it's sending it to dash one. However, if I go over to the other website now, hit refresh as well, and look at the GA base code tag I set up, you can see that it's going to dash two. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps with any problems you have with setting up lookup tables, and feel free to watch our other videos as well.